Hello and welcome to the Growth Handbook series. My name is Jacob. I'm software engineer at Meta. Previously, I was at Microsoft. I built a few products during my career and I spent over two years at Facebook Marketplace Growth Team. In this video series, I will share everything what I learned about growth. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button. This will give me a signal that this type of content is useful and I'll do more of it. If you're using ICE framework for prioritization, ICE stands for Impact, Confidence and Ease of Implementation, there is no straightforward formula for estimating the ease of implementation. It depends on the engineers, their familiarity with the product, and so on. However, you can estimate impact and confidence with opportunity sizing. Opportunity sizing helps you to size your growth opportunities in such a way that you can make more informative decisions about which one to pursue. For example, you want to upsell a new product that you are selling by creating a Facebook ad. You can estimate the number of people who will see the ad. And then based on that, you can also estimate the number of people who will click on it and the number of people who will make a purchase after visiting the product page. How you do that? Well, let's say that your ad will be seen by 100,000 people and maybe you already run ads in the past. So then based on your past experiences and targeting quality or just by estimating if you haven't done this in the past, based on some data you can find online or about your final performance, you can estimate your ad CTR. Let's say it will be 2%. So from 100,000 people, 2,000 will click on your ad. And then uh, you can also probably estimate how many people who will click on your ad and let's say land on your product landing page will actually make a purchase. Ideally, you can estimate that based on the percentage of people who uh, usually buy a product after visiting your landing page. Let's say you have like a landing page and people can purchase your product from a landing page. You have uh, logs for that. You, you can look at the data and uh, let's say usually it's 1%, which would be great. So then our math comes up with uh, 100,000 people who see ad, 2% click, which is 2,000 people, and then 1% from these 2,000 are actually making a purchase. So from running an ad to 100,000 people, you'll get 20 purchases or 20 sales of your product. You can also do similar estimations for notifications or growth strategies. For notifications, it's even easier if you already did that in the past. If you haven't, well, uh, you need to run some exploratory experiments when you do notification, you see how many people see it, you see the CTRs. CTRs will vary, depends on the quality of notification and how appealing it is for a user, of course, but can give you um, some ideas. And then if you did uh, a lot of notifications, then you can see like what is the best performing and worst performing. And probably when you do opportunity sizing, you'll land somewhere in between, uh, in between those. Um, <clears throat> when you're doing opportunity sizing, be aware of cannibalization. Cannibalization is a situation in which you reach the same person with this, uh, with two different growth strategies or even the same one twice. So like, for example, uh, if someone will see you at twice, they'll probably won't buy your product two times they will probably still make only one purchase. However, maybe you'll increase the likelihood of them buying the product. So maybe if, um, you know, from our example, uh, from like the uh, 100,000 people, only 2,000 click and uh, 20 uh, make a purchase, maybe if you show them the ad two times, so then you have uh, 2,000 views, maybe then uh, 3,000 people will visit the site and uh, let's say uh, 25 people will make a purchase. So you can increase the, the CVR, but it probably will not work additive way. So like, for example, you know, if uh, you show add 10 times to 100,000 people, you will not sell 200 products. Very, very unlikely. And you remember, the more experiments you do, better you'll get at the opportunity sizing. Because opportunity sizing is 
uh, very heavily correlated to your product and also the nature of the channels and fit into the channels that you're using. To learn more about opportunity sizing, check out links in the description. And action for you to take, estimate opportunity for different growth ideas that you have in your backlog. If you made it that far, you probably found this video useful. If that's the case, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please leave the comment. I'll be very happy to answer. You can also subscribe to my channel to get notifications about new videos. If you want to learn more about growth, check out the links in the video description. You'll find there my recommended books about growth and link to my growth handbook.